If you're in the market for a trailer or possibly already have a truck and a trailer, have you asked yourself, do I need a commercial driver's license or a CDL for short? You may think I'm just using this for personal use, or you may have the idea of actually doing some hotshot work. Today, we're gonna answer the question of, do I need a CDL for my truck and my trailer? So again, we're talking about CDLs, and if you need one for your truck and your trailer, whether you have a rig and you've asked this question, or if you're looking to get a truck and a trailer in the near future, we have you covered. First off, you will need to know what GVWR means. This is your gross vehicle weight rating. Gross vehicle weight ratings take into account the base curb weight of the vehicle, plus the weight of any optional accessories, cargoes, and passengers. A vehicle should never be loaded beyond the manufacturer's listed GVWR. Your truck has a GVWR and your trailer has one as well. These numbers are important. Now, back to the question of do I need a CDL for my truck and my trailer? So combine those numbers and off the top, let's look at federal regulations. If you're hauling or transporting things across state lines commercially, you will absolutely need a CDL if those numbers are over 26,000 and one pound. That one pound is the difference between needing a CDL and not needing a CDL. For example, this F450 Super Duty behind me has a GVWR of 14,000 pounds. The trailer has one of 30,000. So altogether, my combined GVWR is 44,000 pounds. I am way over the 26,000 and one pound limit. I need a CDL to drive this rig. When you're shopping for your truck and your trailer, make sure to look at both the vehicles and take notice of their GVWR on both of them. That should answer the general question for states that follow the federal regulations for their CDL requirements. Generally speaking, this should answer the question, but always double check. After we go through a list of the states, I'll let you know about a really good resource for finer details that you may wanna know about. If your combined GVWR is 26,001 pounds or higher, and your trailers is 10,001 pounds or higher, you will absolutely need a CDL. The one state that is different is California. In the Golden State, like other states, you have to have a CDL if your trailer and your truck are over a 26,000 pound GVWR limit and your trailer is over the 10,000 pound limit. You still need a CDL. But if you don't reach that 26,001 pound GVWR limit, you still need to get a CDL if your trailer is over 10,001 pounds. You're required to get a class A CDL with restriction 88. Hang tight and we have a great resource to answer almost every question to determine if you need a CDL. Whether you're transporting cargo, dumping loads, hauling cars, moving earth, or hauling just about anything at all, Texas Pride Trailers is behind you all the way. If you would like to find out more about the regulations in your state, there's a quick and easy site you can go to, www.driving-test.org. And click on your state and inside that section, you can find your state CDL handbook. If you're under the 26,000 pound limits and you're gonna carry hazardous materials, you may wanna check out your class C options. And there are always exemptions, farm use and other options. Just make sure to check with your state's requirements to see what is available and what they require of you to get those. Super easy and super simple. While you're figuring this out, make sure to check out our sponsor, Texas Pride Trailers, for any of your trailer needs. Like this video and let us know if it helped in the comments below. For more content like this, plus some great trailer torture tests coming up, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. 